Hello my dear Aquarius, this is a love reading, a prediction for Leo season, July 22nd to August 22nd, 2020, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this will be a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways, the drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for cancer season that is up. We are on the first period of cancer season right now when I'm posting this. Or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. Sorry. So Aquarius, when I open your deck here, I see the King of Cups and the Fool. Uh, in the reversed so it seems like someone has um, uh, love for you but might have fear of expressing this love or maybe have fear of uh, uh, betting on you or uh, kind of throwing themselves into uh, this relationship with you so I call the divine with love and light and here's the eight of swords uh, with the fool again showing that when this person wants to be more courageous and adventurous uh, they get uh, very limited because of their thinking they are thinking a lot of different things uh, that's preventing them from being uh, truthful and loyal in this beautiful uh, energy with the uh, the flower and the dog uh, loyalty and this um, um, sunny kind of expression so uh, I'm thinking this is two sides uh, to a person. It might be two sides to you, uh, where where your more spiritual side is kind of wanting to throw themselves into situ the situation and uh, and be full of hope. But the other side um, that has experience uh, from maybe falling off the cliff cliff several times uh, is is more scared. Okay, so I call the. Uh, the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the hermit in the reverse with the eight of swords so this is someone withdrawing uh, from this situation even though they have the sun inside of them so they're still because of their suspicion uh, suspicious mind uh, towards their life um, and what has been there they they feel very limited and also other people might be limiting them uh, they might be that they have, have rules and obligations and responsibilities uh, that's making them unable to take a positive choice for their life. Or maybe it's choosing your relationship or you choosing a relationship. Okay, so I call the six elements and here we have death uh, together with the eight of swords in the reverse. So something might come in, something might happen. Uh, that kind of takes the fear away uh, because if the worst have already happened or if the uh, if something challenges challenging has already happened um, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a scenario here uh, where maybe you have lost a person or a person lo lost you due to not being courageous enough in the relationship uh, and due to this uh, the person might come out of their mental prison because if we have if we lose someone <laughs> we we might feel uh, their value okay so well so i'm hearing some melody but i'm not sure what it is so i call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear aquarius viewers so i want my dear aquarius to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships i also want you uh, to have a creative success and be able to walk on your highest path uh, towards your highest destiny so this song um it's uh, something with um, uh, that you need to lose someone before you uh, know their value. So I will check uh, songs with that uh, that kind of uh, topic. Um, 
I'm writing it down. And I, I realized that there's different songs, older and newer. I think this is a newer one since uh, I'm not uh, able to connect the dots here, really. So I will just tune in here for a few seconds to you and your situation in Leo season, Aquarius. So uh, this is the new bottom of the deck and it's a, a knight of wands so it might be uh, someone coming in courting you. Uh, this is uh, a Sagittarius energy with the Scorpio energy in the beginning so water um, fire with the people that we have seen. Hermit is Virgo. Uh, so uh, something new exciting it might be you also becoming more brave and able to go on new exciting adventures, maybe seeking love or uh, seeking friendship or, or, or trying to solve some romantic problem or some relationship problem. This is the old bottom of the deck, so it's the Queen of Swords. Uh, so uh, this is a, a more high and dry energy uh, where you might have felt uh, like uh, the world was not really living up to your expectations is what I'm feeling and uh, that you had uh, a lot of issues with things going on. Uh, you saw maybe a lot of um, uh, red flags. Uh, <laughs> yes, maybe you were judging someone as not trustworthy or, or lying. And uh, or maybe you didn't even trust yourself or the divine or the road ahead. Uh, we have seven of swords here. We have also seen a lot of the eight of swords. So seven of swords might be having very low self-esteem, thinking everything is going to go uh, down the drain, or it might be that we have this kind of low self-esteem and therefore we are making actions that are not ethical. For example, uh, trying to fool someone into a situation which we don't think that they would go into uh, if we told them the truth. So that's just an example. Okay, uh, so... Uh, this is what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And this is the situation with said person. This is what's on their mind about you. And this is um, your feelings towards them. The energetic bond or love bond between you two. And their feelings towards you. This is um, your behaviors and attitudes towards them. This is the outcome. And this is their behaviors and attitudes uh, towards you. So we'll start with the situation here. And we have actually the tower in the reverse, which is uh, kind of interesting because it came in the same position for Leo, uh, which I just did this uh, reading for. And um, uh, the tower in the reverse, it's, uh, it's a situation uh, where we are maybe deliberately uh, taking down uh, a situation that we have been building on. We're deliberately uh, flushing it down the drain. Uh, it might also be uh, someone else are doing this deliberately. So it's not like a fluke uh, thing happening, like a freak action of nature. Uh, it's more a, a deliberate uh, dissembling of what has been built. And um, it can also be for some of you, it can be this um, more divine intervention, but a minor divine, divine intervention. So something not going accordingly to plan, or we giving up our plans and dreams. Uh, maybe because we see uh, that this is not the right road ahead. This is not the right uh, way forward. Remember, rejection is God's protection. Uh, so this mini tower here might be you being rejected or you rejecting someone else because it's uh, it's not the right way to go. Or it's not the right time. So it causes for a little change of direction because the tower is always bringing things down because it was going in the wrong direction, building something new up and maybe going in a more fresh direction. Uh, so um, some change of plans or a change of direction due to us seeing negatively con negative consequences further down the road is what I'm feeling mainly. And um, this is what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. And it seems like uh, you're a little bit in the dark about this person. You don't know what they want. You don't know what they feel. 
uh, you don't know what you want, you don't know what you feel, and uh, you might also suspect that there's something fishy going on with this person that you can't trust them. Uh, it might be these small inconsistencies uh, when a person say one thing but act in another way. Uh, so you you want to believe their words but their action is telling you something else and you get suspicious. Usually when a relationship gets complicated um, it might either be because uh, the person might have um, I want to say problems from their own personal growth like uh, depression or being challenged in their own life so things can they can act strange uh, but usually when a, when a person is not engaging them in in a way that makes you feel secure there is something fishy it's your intuition is picking up that something is fishy something is off something is not right uh, but sometimes it's also you projecting your own fears upon that person. So we'll, we need to pay a lot of attention to these issues and really sort out what is you and what is the other person. What is um, your fears from the past and what is their actual action. So you might need to put in a lot of logic work into this and actually prove to yourself uh, what is going on. Um, is it in your own mind? Have you painted up an illusion? because of old fears or are you uh, being tricked or is someone playing mind games on you or are they uh, lying or being inconsistent uh, so sometimes people are lying to themselves so they might not be lying to you deliberately uh, but they can be lying to themselves or they don't know themselves so therefore they are acting um, strange but then it's kind of circling back to them and going through something on a personal level uh, like an old trauma or something that needs to be worked through uh, some uh, mental health issues which is very common and in these days when we are kind of uh, throwing our whole life on end and trying to find our true uh, inner self and many people are going to um, kind of real awful uh, <laughs> personal growth stages at this time uh, feeling really down and depressed and peculiar because they it's a gap between their old self the person that they wanted to be and they thought the world wanted and the person that they actually are and that also applies to you uh, and when we are doing this shift from being the person that we thought people wanted to being the person that we actually are uh, there might be a lot of feeling lost in between okay so this is what's on their mind about you and we have the seven of wands in the reverse so it's almost like they feel like it's not worth fighting for uh, or it's no idea to convince you or there's no idea to make you feel better about this they just don't seem to have the energy to persuade you uh, into them not being the person that you suspect that they are with the seven of swords is what i'm referring to this is the seven of wands so this is spiritual spiritual challenges and with the seven of wands, we, uh, we either fight for something or we fight against something. But this person kind of don't want to fight. Uh, I'm feeling a, a weakness of energy. Maybe they've, there has been a longer period of uh, conflicts and they are at the end of their ropes with how much patience they can have in this situation. And it can also be that... Um, they mainly don't have the energy to fight for anything that's important. It might be a self-destructive trait sometimes that we don't fight for the important things. We fight for the unimportant things that we will regret, for example, at our dying days when we have put all our effort into our work and didn't pay attention to our family, for example, and we realize that we made wrong priorities. So I'm not saying that this person is making a wrong priority, uh, but it seems like they are not prioritizing you at this moment okay and this is um, uh, the bond between you and we have the emperor uh, so it's a stubbornness here i'm feeling both people are kind of acting suspicious towards one another uh, and neither one wants to be the one on the losing end uh, being the one that uh, comes off maybe giving too much and getting too little uh, or engaging a lot and not getting anything in return uh, so uh, there's a stubbornness here but there's still these two rivers I'm feeling you are 
traveling kind of side by side. So maybe this is a necessary phase of this uh, uh, relationship where both are acting stubborn um, and, and kind of solidifying oneself and one's own persona. And um, this might make for a distance in the relationship where we can't really come together, but we're still walking or flowing down the same uh, waterway here. Uh, so uh, people seem uh, in this relationship to be working on self-preservation, taking care of oneself, uh, not uh, giving uh, too much uh, or uh, becoming used and abused. And both people seem to have the same uh, idea about this, it's just from different angles or point of view. Uh, so this person might have had a problem where everyone always suspected them to be a bad person. And um, uh, so I'm hearing a song, Behind Blue Eyes. Behind Blue Eyes. It's about a person uh, that um, describes how it is to always be the one being suspected to do something wrong. <laughs> okay. And so they might always feel like people are always accusing them of stuff. And you might feel like you, people are always lying to you about stuff. So you want to accuse them of lying and getting like the truth out uh, so that you will feel secure. But they don't want, they don't have the energy to make you secure because they don't want to continue having to defend themselves their whole life. Uh, so stubbornness. Uh, this is uh, your feelings towards them and it's a three of cups. So I think you really like this person and you want to be with them, but you feel very vulnerable um, in this situation due to not you feeling you can't trust this person uh, 100%. So you don't know how much uh, to engage and, and that might call for the emperor to come out and um, making you hold your horses. So uh, you basically have a very fun time with this person and you want to continue having a good time and maybe develop the relationship or have more of the good things. Uh, but to have the good things, you want to make a way for the less good things. So you want to have clarity uh, so that the fun can continue. <clears throat> and this is uh, their feelings towards you. And we have the two of swords uh, in the reverse. So this person seems very conflicted. Uh, about you and about themselves it's these two personalities that they have inside one that wants to you know make you love them and persuade you that they are good <laughs> and uh, the other side that's to hell with this um i don't have to, i don't have to have this in my life i don't need to be accused i don't need to be challenged like this i am what i am take it or leave it and i can do without you i don't have to have you in my life uh, so I'm feeling that this person is trying to uh, strengthen themselves by um, kind of making their relationship less important and themselves uh, more important because they're going through something uh, where they're trying, to, I thinking they are uh, kind of dealing with their own shadow. So when we have a big fat shadow, we get very scared of it and we are kind of aligning with other people. Um, and saying that they are right and I am wrong because I have this big fat shadow. I know I'm bad. I'm a bad person. Uh, so whatever another person says is right and whatever I say is wrong. Uh, but that is making a person disconnected from themselves and, and there's a lack of self-love in, in the situation and self-respect. Uh, so when the person is starting to integrate their own shadow and, and learning that this side to me is also great, um, we can, for example, have making simple example is uh, aggression issues. Uh, so we know when someone accuses us of being aggress aggressive, we know that they're probably right. We have aggressiveness issues. Uh, but uh, when we're working with integrating our shadow, we learn that I, at some points it's actually good to have these aggressions because you can protect your family. Uh, you can say no to stupid situations. You can walk away from situations that's hurtful. Uh, you can maybe be a hero in a situation where uh, no one else have the anger enough to react even. Uh, so you learn that it's okay for me to be aggressive at, at times. And eventually this person will learn in what situation. It's not when you are together with your children and they are testing your patience. It's when fighting for justice. Uh, you should be aggressive. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, when this person is going through this uh, 
uh, situation, they are starting to align more and more and more with themselves. So they can't align with you at this point. They need to solidify their own uh, persona, their real persona first. So it's not like they are betraying you. They are actually uh, trying to not betray themselves. They are trying to find themselves. And this might take a while. So this person uh, basically can't engage very much in this relationship at this point. Uh, because they're trying to find their true self and what they are like who they are in their core and how uh, they want to work uh, themselves out into the world how um, when they have self-love self-respect and and they will start to feel like uh, they actually belong here and that they are entitled to be here and that they don't have to make excuses for themselves all the time so they're going through something and it's not saying that they are acting in a nice way towards you or even in the correct way. It's just that they are at this level where they can't act in any other way because they're going through this thing on their own. And this is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes towards them. And we have the eight of swords. Uh, so I feel like this other person was trapped in this eight of swords kind of energy and has been uh, for a very long time uh, a lot of other people's opinion about them uh, which uh, has made them into this um, um, kind of um, domesticated or conditioned persona but here we can see that this is also applying to you and into this situation you would probably want to be more loving towards this person at this point uh, you probably feel a little fear and you don't want to invest in the relationship. Uh, but in the same time, I, I think you wish you could. Okay. And um, even if you're working a lot on your self-respect and not being disrespected or disregarded in this situation, uh, sometimes we need to be the stronger person in an equation. This is H, so it's connected to the strength card. And um, sometimes... Uh, we, we can be um, the bigger person and uh, uh, give a little bit more to a person that gives a little bit less. I'm not saying that this is the only advice for you or this is what you need to do. But for those of you that feels that this rings true, it might be that uh, there is a solution to this relationship. You don't have to uh, be so super attentive to how this person is acting right now because they are uh, too busy with... Um, healing themselves here uh, so you can maybe just lie low <laughs> lay low and uh, and um, have patience with this relationship but for other others of you you feel like there's no solution to this situation you want to be with a person but the person doesn't want to be with you so what to do uh, so when there's a situation which you can't solve uh, when you you just need to delay uh, the <laughs> the decision okay uh, so maybe take a break from the relationship, take a pause or um, or just uh, kind of lay low and uh, wait for a solution to appear, a more appealing solution. Because this is when there's no appealing solutions at all and you're kind of tied up in your own uh, circular thinking. Uh, I love this person, but I need to leave this person. I love this person, but I need to leave this person. Uh, so when you can't solve things right now, maybe there will come a, a situation later that will solve it for you. For example, you will be so pissed off that you break up with a person then and there. So that was the solution. But right now, um, great leaders often kind of postpone their decision uh, to last minute because the more time will pass, the more information you will have that will give you uh, greater decisions. A greater kind of um, platforms for your decisions or more uh, intelligence that you can use for your decision but the eight of swords is a warning though that in this situation with being treating treated poorly and being very much engaged uh, with your heart in this si situation uh, you might find yourself uh, in a codependent situation where you're kind of giving your best to a person that gives nothing in return. Uh, so be attentive of both. This is two extremes. Stay, be patient because the person is going through something and don't stay because you are being manipulated and taken for granted. And you yourself need to decide uh, where your decision is. And uh, you might get pointers, but ultimately in the end, 
uh, it's your own decision. <laughs> so the sun is showing the time is flying by. <laughs> okay. So this is the other person's behaviors and attitudes in this situation. They are, frankly, really boring because with the two of pentacles, they don't pay attention to you. They drop the ball on you. Um, they don't fight for you. Um, and they, I have told you the reasons for this. It can be a lack of love, but basically it's because this person is going to some kind of metamorphosis uh, where they are trying to side with themselves against the world. So they are not having your back right now because they are preoccupied with having uh, their own back. And um, this is not much food for a relationship. It's, you can't have a relationship with a person that uh, isn't engaging. Uh, but we'll see what the outcome is here. And we have the five of pentacles. So this is basically saying, yes, uh, you love the person, but there's a lot of strange things going on in this person's life right now and the best option for you would probably to put this relationship on on ice and put distance between you and this other person and letting them work out this stuff on their own uh, during this is the outcome for Leo season so uh, like um, in the end of uh, <laughs> August uh, you will feel like no this is not giving me what I want or what I need uh, so this is um, for this other person. I asked the clarification for the two of swords and I got home. Uh, so this person is trying to build a home inside of themselves where they, they can feel loved and protected and solidified. So they not have to question themselves all the time. And am I good? Am I evil? Am I good? Am I bad? Was it right? Was it wrong? So uh, what they have been. Uh, going through so you are comfortable in your own skin you belong so this is what they're trying to obtain peace security safety belonging and all the features one would want from home are indicated now the home card uh, represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you this is a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you're, you're, you've come home. Home is love and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. Uh, and this person's heart is not with you at this point. It seems to be mainly with themselves, but they, there might also be a third party situation, even if this is not applied here uh, with these cards. Uh, but what I'm seeing is that this person is trying to learn to love themselves and they have no time or energy to, uh, to give to you at this point. So um, they might be feeling like they're acting very selfish at this time. Uh, so this is for you and it's spirit of place. So it's almost like I'm feeling like a person that's buried um, and it's four. So, um, sorry, I had to put in the battery cord, um, low on batteries. Mm. So for spirit of place. Uh, authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestor believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find a central truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your own authenticity. Uh, so, um, I'm, if I to guess here, I'm thinking the issue is about am I loved or not? And the answer seems to be uh, that you're not loved because you're not feeling it. And if you're not feeling it uh, and you can't control the other person to love you, how much you 
you want them to love you they can't at this time the divine timing isn't right because this person is trying to learn to love themselves i think you can follow in their footsteps uh, i felt like uh, reading this card that there was a certain maturity with you where you can rise above be loving and compassion and not make it so much about your worth and um, if I was worthy, this person would love me and they would show me this. Um, frankly, it, it's a little bit juvenile because you don't know what is going on in another person's inside. And, and you don't know their reasons for not uh, being able to give you what you want at this point. Uh, so to make it about you um, uh, is um, uh, maybe a little bit uh, childish. So what I would ask of you is to make your life about you in the same way as this person is trying. Uh, so make your own home uh, inside of yourself and whatever happens is fine. Either this person uh, will come out of it and they will start to show you love again and uh, you will be happy or they won't and you will have to move on. Either or, it's what it is. Uh, it's better to accept the situation and go with the flow uh, than to anxiously reacting as this shouldn't be like this. They should love me. They should put uh, attention into this situation now. They should put, give me more um, credit uh, for the work I have been putting in or the love I have been given. Well, they aren't. Uh, so that is kind of what you need to accept right now and um, uh, determine what would be your moving forward if you were taking yourself into consideration what is the best option for you uh, what's your high moral ground here how can you uh, take the best care of both you, uh, you and the other person and uh, not be codependent or um, maybe um, dreaming of the what can't happen right now I'm not saying that this person will uh, never love you or haven't ever loved you I'm just seeing that they are full of this uh, uh, work with trying to love themselves so uh, whatever you say or your problems would just be something you know they hear in the periphery <laughs> which they can't pay attention to right now uh, it's to side with that I need to learn to love myself I need to learn who I am um, am I good am I bad how can I uh, how can I um, stand on my own side how can I align with myself because remember this person have always aligned with other people have always felt like they were the bad person and the other people were right and they were wrong uh, so they have oscillated between probably acting self-destructive and doing a lot of shitty things uh, and then feeling sorry for it <laughs> and now uh, they don't want to have that in their life they want to find their true uh, true loving self and and they are allowed to do so and um, they kind of don't need uh, maybe you at this point to uh, to be needing them to give you what they can't give you at this point so try to be strong try to be mat mature try to be resilient do the best thing for you right now um, dignify in the, yourself in this situation rise above um, find out what's making you happy at this point that doesn't have to do with this person and, and focus on that. Uh, spend time in nature. This is very nature-driven cards. Maybe sitting next to a tree with, m will make you have this kind of grand grace and posture of that tree, like this um, ever-overwatching, uh, timeless energy that uh, don't mind what happens right now everything changed gradually they don't hold on to things more than to their roots uh, and the roots is who are you and who are you really so maybe spend this time doing the same work as this other person uh, know that you are good know that you are great and uh, know that you are worthy of love and, and um, you don't have to stay in a situation where you feel like you're not getting the time of day okay so, my dear Aquarius, I hope this uh, helped. Um, sorry for the light here in the end. I hope you're able to see the cards. And um, um, if you like my content and want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, which I'm very grateful for, but also liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing my videos. 
You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box or you can make Google donate by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That is keeping my humble revenue up so I can uh, make more content like this for you on this channel, free up time to make content. And thank you so much in advance. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers and your amazing comments always make my day. And on until next time, take really, really good care. Okay, bye-bye.